Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On this episode, we're gonna check out an absolutely ridiculous 32 box delivery of livestock. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video where Dave had gone absolutely mental and ordered 900 fish, and I tried to cover those 900 fish in nine minutes or less. Well, this week he's gone and probably up to the bar again. He's ordered 32 boxes of livestock, and that's not including inverts or live rock. That's just straight up fish and coral absolutely bumper order. So I grabbed the camera and did a quick lap around again. This time we'll cover both the fish and the coral. You're probably gonna need to give me a couple extra minutes though. We'll see if we can knock it over in under 15 minutes. So let's uh, start the stopwatch up uh, around about here and um, jump into the stock at Deer Park Aquarium. All right, morning guys. It is a walkthrough of Deer Park Aquarium because Dave has gone absolutely crazy here and ordered way too many fish again. We head in, you can see a uh, nice wall of foam boxes there, but uh, that doesn't even really begin to cover the start of it because there's just a few more here. He's gone absolutely berserk and ordered in no shortage of fish to make sure that your tank has lots of color and movement for uh, Christmas. You've got family coming over. You want to have that tank full of life, but um, it's not just live goods. We've got plenty of dry goods here. We've got uh, some live foods, frozen foods, including some of the uh, new, uh, well, I shouldn't say new, but uh, the range we don't normally carry here. Some of the fancies from Ocean Nutrition, plus uh, Art Reef rocks, Carib Sea rocks, Continuum products. Um, we've got uh, Arm Extra Course, we've got Sulfur Media there, plenty of Clarice Rolls, Dry Foods, Test Kits. Up on the wall here, we've got uh, no shortage of uh, Radians, Vectras, we've got AI Primes, we've got the ITC Reef Deletes, plenty of uh, Reef Factory gear, Kamoa Dosing Pumps, KH Guardians in stock, plenty there. Of course, all your plumbing needs, and then uh, you've got Dr. Tim's if you want to give that tank a little freshen up. Plenty of uh, HANA instruments there, coral essentials, aqua forest, lots there. But let's head on in and check out the fish and corals because I know that's what you guys want to see. We'll start over this side. We've got uh, some gorgeous uh, lyotail anthias here. Check out the uh, boys just hanging down in the corner there together, chilling with their bros while the females are out swimming around. Got some nice purple tangs. Got some uh, barrier reef chromis. Nice little uh, coral beauty angel in there. And uh, one of the boy anthias out swimming around. Some file fish as well. Got some more beautiful purple tanks here. These guys are a big size. Nice to see these fish out and about again, but um, check out the swarm of fox, fox face in there. Got uh, Fijian, you got Standard. They're all fairly small too. Some a little bit bigger, but um, to be fair, there's some pretty small units in there. Heading across to this system, we've got a gorgeous, uh, see a Labuti rest there. What a gorgeous specimen he is. In fact, there's a couple there. Some more Antheas, some uh, Cardinals, little uh, Angel. Sorry, yes, a butterfly chilling out in this section down here. Got uh, some wrasse in there as well. Down into this system, we've got plenty of Australian stripies. These guys are probably about 10 cent coin size, perfect for uh, decimating your aptasia. We've got uh, some fire gobies, lovely uh, orange shoulder tang there, blue tang, some nice clowns, the uh, bicolor blenny, uh, some beautiful reef safe angel pairs in there. Lovely, lovely fish. Let's keep on rolling though, plenty to cover. Got a uh, nice uh, mature mimic tang there. We've got a, a lovely blonde naso, tamini tang, blue tang. Plenty of nice fish there. Some fire clowns, I think another, uh, is that an orange shoulder? Gorgeous little fish, that one there. Beautiful juvenile colorings. Down here we've got uh, some mimic tangs, blue tangs, big angels. We've got uh, some files, some triggers, a couple of lions just chilling out there. One sitting up there, just waiting to uh, prick your finger. And then you got uh, this chunky little boy down here, just staring me out. Look at him flex those spines. Definitely not gonna grab him and pick him up with my hands, that's for sure. Into uh, some predator systems here. Check out this uh, massive wrasse here. What a beast of a fish. Got a predator tank. What a uh, beautiful splash of color and movement he would add. Speaking of, check out the uh, harlequin tusk. This uh, big crazy trigger here. Look at the size of the mouth on him. And of course the uh, blue jaw trigger in the back there. Heading down to the next system here, we've got the cutest little clown trigger there. Very, very nice indeed. And some others, we've got more triggers, cleaner wrasse, some uh, damsels up there squaring off with each other. If I pan across to the uh, left here, check out some of these uh, cardinals just doing their best horror movie impersonation, just absolutely still staring at me, which is a bit creepy. We've also got some gorgeous little uh, mandarins in, which is nice to see. 
Uh, check out these damsels in here. We've got a nice uh, lemon peel, got a uh, pearl scale, I think that is. Some butterflies, heading on over to some more angels in here. Nice uh, gold rim tang, beautiful indeed. Some more angels up here. We've got uh, some sail fins, got some butterflies. Some nice little, uh, I'm not sure what those tangs are. Let's have a look. Uh, ooh, doo, doo, doo. See if they're listed on here. Bristletooth tang, black spot surgeon. Nice assortment of fish there, Dave. Very nice indeed. Up into some uh, ras here. Check out this citroen goby over there. A couple of big units in there. Some beautiful ras in there as well. See a nice mandarin up in that back corner. Some more of those big citroen gobies. And some really nice little ras. Beautiful little fairy ras, I'm going to assume. We will get to uh, pricing those up very soon. I just wanted to grab the camera and give you guys a tour before uh, the doors opened. Check out these uh, Tamini tanks in here. Wow, they are small. They look like uh, they're just mixing in with the Vanderbilt Chromis. Super, super cool. A tank that doesn't get massive either. So if you've got a tank that's kind of just on the verge of fitting tanks in, maybe have a look at uh, Tamini tanks. Beautiful colors, beautiful little uh, natured fish. And uh, at the moment they are super, super small. Very, very cool indeed. Down here we've got uh, some more liar tails, females, male over there, the big bristle tooth, gold rim. Got uh, some more wrasse, we got uh, the butterfish as well, which is um, glow stick butterfish, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, keep on rolling, plenty to see. Scopaz tangs, sail fins, blue tangs. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Cool hawkfish chilling out back there. Big uh, uh, orange shoulder tang. We've got uh, Totally forgotten their name, but uh, the uh, very jumpy blue faced guys up there. Heading on down into this system, we've got uh, more orange shoulder, more scopaz. Uh, let's see another sail fin there. One of my favorite little guys down here, a, a flame hawk. In fact, we've got the uh, zebra, zebra angel pair in there. Beautiful. Check out the uh, bright coloration on this ras here. Very, very nice indeed keep on rolling there speaking of color in your tank have a look at the color of these painted anthias so so bright very very nice indeed the yellows pinks oranges red got uh, the big dominant male up there as well super super nice fish cool to see them back in store again a little uh valentini puffer down there coral beauty up here an assortment of really cool lawnmower blennies here <laughs> these guys always look like they're posing for a uh, album cover such a presence about them. Nice uh, butterfly up there. Got some more alaya tails. We've still got these two scorpions in. Super cool dudes. They're similar but different and they're often seen hanging out together. You've got uh, one over in the front here and one in the back corner which is kind of being covered by the anthias but um, super super cool indeed. Down here we've got uh, some blue green chromis. I know plenty of people chasing those for a nice basic schooling fish. Scopaz, pyramid butterflies, all sorts we've got uh, over here. Got some dispar anthias, more pyramids, long nose butterfly, another flame hawk in there, a couple of assorted rats in there. Just saw the, uh, look at that cleaner rats getting to work, going from fish to fish, giving them all a little uh, tidy up. Up here we've got uh, some lovely copper band butterflies, nice little uh, sand sifting goby there, more coral beauties. Uh, let's have a look down here. Now, if those fox face before were not big enough for you, have a look at these triple uh, XL monsters in here. Big, big dudes, chonky as to, ready to absolute decimate uh, any algae in a big sort of predator style system. Not that they're not a reef safe fish, but uh, these dudes are just big. So you've got a big, big tank and you're looking for a, a utilitarian fish, good option there. Over into some great barrier reef chromis there, no shortage of those to pick from. And then uh, heading down here, we've got a uh, nice flag fin angel. Have a look at this guy. Those blue lips tell you he is not reef safe, but uh, what a cool fish indeed. Some more pyramids, uh, really nice uh, ras there. Very nice, scopaz. And then onto the wall of uh, inverts and clowns. <laughs> There's plenty to cover here, but I'll try to skip through it. We've got uh, a huge assortment of clowns. We've got some uh, abalones in. We've got shrimp of various uh, types in. Check out uh, the yashagobi up in there. He's temporarily paired up with a uh, red line cleaner shrimp, which is pretty cool. Got plenty of copper band butterflies in, uh, some nice Oki clowns. Let's see, heaps of peppermint shrimp. These guys just got unbagged and uh, they are kicking about and uh, making themselves well known. We've got the uh, captive bred flathead perch, not something you see in, a, in, well, I was gonna say in Australia, but not something you see anywhere all that often. These are the first captive bred flathead perch available in Australia. So 
something completely different. They're very, very shy fish. Very rarely do you see two at once, so we're a little bit lucky to see them both on camera there. More clowns. Uh, check out this uh, high fin blenny here. This dude is super cool. Always sort of has that upright position when he checks you out and uh, often perches himself into a uh, expired trochus snail shell, which is pretty cool. And uh, of course, even more uh, clownfish there of all sorts of designer varieties. Nice little biscuit star there. Plenty of urchins as well. More abalones, hermit crabs. Plenty of uh, nems and things to pick from as well, but let's have a quick overview of some of the corals. Got a uh, crazy big blue gig here. Nice, uh, incredible nem. This one, its lights have just come on, so he's not really showing his true colors yet, but uh, crazy yellow and orange tips on that guy. Over into the SBS systems over here, there is some ridiculous pieces in here. Get a little look from the top. Look at the red dragon colony there. Absolutely ridiculous. Beautiful coloration in that. Some really nice SBS down here. Have a look at these pieces. Big robusters. Massive colony here. This guy is obviously brand out a little bit, but watch him color up in your tank. Some really nice thick pieces of uh, forest fire. Monty there, Monty Digi, some smooth skins. Over into this system here, have a look at some of these wild colonies in here from smooth skins to some Aussie Pikachus. Nice Montys, blues, greens. I do have some uh, Walt Disney frags here, half price as well, 250 bucks a piece, along with a couple of other pretty premium little frags in there as well. Good assortment though for people looking at them. Uh, heading over this way, we've got some more acro, no shortage of them. A couple of gem tanks floating about in the uh, coral tanks as well in this weekend. In fact, there's a peppy shrimp in there as well on that uh, wild acro. Heading over here, got a couple of really nice clams. They're well priced, I gotta say too. This guy here, I'll see if I can get a view from the top without upsetting him. Look at the colors on those guys. Don't mind the uh, beautiful gold hammer next to it as well. Some nice ricks, especially uh, this guy here is just glowing away there. Really nice bubble corals, very nice toxic bubble there. Crazy Wilsoni, some more deshies, scollies, gonies, all the primo stuff on top there. Heading over here, we've got an absolute showpiece uh, cataphilia here. This guy has barely started to open up. This thing will get massive. It would actually fill this uh, Cade Nano here. But um, if you're looking for a big showpiece elegance, you know where to come. If you're looking for some smaller elegance, but maybe no less showpiece, check out these guys. Bright Toxic Santa, nice translucent uh, tentacles there. Got some nice frags along here as well. Chalice, Favias, Cephastrias, Rhodactus. Plenty to pick from there. Nice um, Samacora there. Nice chalice as well. Over into some of the uh, nice beginner piece tanks here. Got uh, some green star polyps. I've got some uh, green stag frags I've brought into giveaway. So if you are a uh, viewer of this video, be sure to mention you saw some free stags and I'll bag one of those up for you. Got some other frags in here. Look, it's $35 for a red dragon frag. Absolutely ridiculous. Some blue uh, digi in there as well. Almost there, we'll just keep the good times rolling. Over here, we've got uh, some lovely goni frags in there, acans, zoas, some really nice zoas in there at the moment. Look at the colors out of those. Got some beautiful lobophilia down here that um, I know these things are gonna get crazy popular once uh, people cotton onto them. Once scullies get a little bit difficult to get hold of, they're gonna absolutely skyrocket in popularity. Got a nice uh, rhodactus rock in the corner there, some nice uh, chalice, uh, a couple of nice, um, Nice couple of deshies here, basic price deshies as well. This is a $60 tank. You can pick yourself up a beautiful deshi for uh, next to nothing. Some nice, uh, let's have a look, long uh, tentacle fungia there, helio fungia, some moon coral, a very stingy looking fabia over there. Over into uh, the 120 tank, we've got some ridiculous goni frags in here, some larger uh, goni colonies as well, some really nice banana poras. Nice, uh, this one's, Coronation, I think I've forgotten the exact name, but a, a non photosynthetic coral there. Some beautiful blastos. Uh, we've got some scollies in this system here, some hammers, torches, more uh, elegance. Beautiful bower banky there. Look at the colors on that guy as he's opening up. And uh, coming around to the final row of uh, coral systems, awesome assortment of uh, scollies up there, plenty of torches, some hammers. Some really nice hammers actually. I quite like this uh, solid green with a toxic green stem. I did not think I would say a two-tone green hammer could be that pretty and it sure is. And onto the final system here. In fact, let's see if we can have a look at some of these hammers from the top. 
Look at the colors on these guys. Beautiful indeed. Look at that nice toxic green one there. Some of the yellows up here. Beautiful shape on that piece. And uh, yeah, a gold hammer there that's upside down. I'm gonna have to flip him over as soon as I put this camera down. Some really nice uh, red cushions up there. Beautiful indeed. But as you can see, we have no shortage of fish and coral here today. So um, head on in, make the final adjustments to your tank before uh, you have the family over for Christmas lunch. And I look forward to seeing you then guys. Thanks. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of 32 boxes of livestock at Deer Park Aquarium. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That'll ensure that it gets shared with other like-minded reef keepers just like yourself out there and will help get this channel a little bit of extra traction in the world that is YouTube. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time. It costs not a cent at all. There is a subscribe button down in that bottom corner. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic week and I look Look forward to bringing you the deep dive of the two year anniversary of my dream reef tank next weekend. Till then guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.